Hello everyone, Brandon Leone here. It's time for a Rockland Homes for Sale market update up to September 2022. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm sure you've heard the doom and gloom. We're gonna look at the numbers, but what's important is where we're at from last month to this month. So we're gonna do things a little bit differently this time. We have homes for sale, we have homes that have sold, and we have homes pending. But what we really wanna see is the change in the market from uh, July to August. So we're gonna go through that. So in July, we had 145 homes for sale in Rockland, California. In August, we had 131. So what we're seeing is the homes for sale going down that's good for the market because that means the inventory is dwindling a little bit. Also, we have 48 homes that were pending or that were someone agreed to purchase. We had 48 in July, we have 59 in August. So what we're seeing is more houses are going pending, which is also a good sign showing that the market is picking back up. Lastly, in July, 53 homes sold and in August, 58 homes sold. So we're seeing more sales. As long as we're seeing more sales every single month, also a good sign. So overall, now we have numbers where in July it was looking like it was doom and gloom. And now we have some numbers to show that the market is stabilizing. Also, when you look at the price per square foot in July, it was $325. It actually jumped up in August to $348, which whenever you're seeing an increase in the price per square foot, that's good for the overall real estate market. What we really wanna look at closely though, we have what the house is listed for versus what it's sold for, right? The average list price versus sold price. In July, it was 99, right? In August, 96%. So that means houses are selling 4% under what they're listed for. That's a number we wanna to continue to look at to see if there's a trend moving downward of prices. Also, something else we're looking at are the days on market. How long it takes a house from going active to pending. In July, it was 18. In August, 29 days. So we're seeing an increase of days on market, and that's also something we wanna get one more month to look at to see kind of what's happening. So the average sold price has gone down month over month from 802 to 780. So this is looking at all houses, right? Entry level houses, multi-million dollar houses, but that's also important to track. When we look at months of inventory, we went from 2.7 months to 2.3 months. So that's a good sign showing that houses are starting to move. So overall guys, when we look at everything as a whole, we're seeing more houses sold. We're seeing more houses going pending. We're seeing inventory go down slightly. These are all good signs to show that the market is moving forward. So we also see a little bit of help in interest rates. They're fluctuating in the fives, but we're still seeing movement in Rockland, which is a great sign for our real estate market. So I'm curious, you guys have any questions about the Rockland real estate market, just put them in the comments below or reach out to me. I'd love to get them answered for you. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. My name is Brandon Leong with eXp Realty and I'll see you next month.